If you own a home, you likely have a sump pump in the basement. For your boat, you're going to have a bilge pump. Stick around to find out all about it. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And almost every boat that has a hull, whether it's an aluminum or fiberglass boat, has a bilge pump. And your boat actually may have more than one bilge pump. Some boats have two and some boats have multiple, particularly big cruisers. But even like a 23 foot wakeboard or wake surf tow boat will likely have two. And really what they are is that they're a electrical pump that's mounted right in the very bottom of the boat and it's designed to get any moisture or water out of the boat and pump it overboard. And that's important of course because if if the boat is leaking you need a way to keep it afloat by pumping the water out. But what's more likely to happen is you leave the boat uncovered in a big rainstorm and it collects some water or over time some moisture builds in the boat because of course boats have condensation that happen because you're sitting in a cooler body of water with really warm temperatures outside and over time that temperature differential will actually condensate in the boat and it will go to its lowest point which is the bilge and then the bilge is used to pump the water overboard. So on your boat you're going to have a switch on the dash that says bilge and sometimes it will say auto and manual and so most bilge pumps today will have two switches they'll have a switch that you manually turn it on on the dash by flicking a switch and that runs the bilge pump pulls any moisture or liquid out of the bottom of the boat and pumps it overboard through a tube it also likely has an automatic switch which is wired directly to the battery so that when the level like your sump pump in your house when the level of the water reaches a certain point it turns the pump on and extracts that water and then turns itself off and there's often a little float switch in the bottom of the boat that as the water rises click it turns it on and as the water lowers click it turns it off so on the dash just make sure you understand does it say bilge on off or does it say bilge auto and man because if it says auto you want to make sure it's left in the auto position at all times and you would only use the manual section of the switch when you thought maybe there's a little bit more water on board that you'd like to get out otherwise you just let it do its job on its own here's a couple tips if you're leaving your boat on a trailer and it's going to be out of the water for a long time you may want to remove your drain plug because over time if moisture builds up in the boat the pump is going to kick on and off while it's sitting on the trailer and may kill your battery so you might as well let it drain out through the drain plug make sure you put it back in before you launch it though if your boat is left in the water make sure that you keep the cover on and that the cover is nice and tight so it doesn't pool and bag because over time that moisture in the boat will kill the battery as well thanks for joining us on today's lens Cove lessons in boating Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.